This video shows how to use Pixel Film Studio's Auto Tracker 1.1 to track 3D text to a moving object. The effect I want to end up with is for the text to look like it's fixed to the ground and part of the scene. First, scrub through the timeline and figure out where you want the text to begin. After you install Pixel Film Studio's Auto Tracker 1.1, you'll find it in the text library. The 4K digital cinema option is for a wider aspect ratio. This video was shot in 4K at 16 by 9, so I'll use the 4K UHD 3D option. Drag it down to the timeline and let it snap to the point where you set the playhead. Now adjust the end of the auto tracker to where the text will end. Click on it to highlight it and you should see the auto tracker box appear. Drag the auto tracker box to an item in your video that can be tracked. Try to pick an object that has well-defined edges and contrasts with the background. For this example I'm going to track the sign at the side of the road. I temporarily zoom in on the sign so I can more accurately adjust the tracking box. Next, turn on Draw Track Data and also I will turn on Track Scale for this example so the text will become larger as we get closer to it. With Track Scale turned on, Auto Tracker will track the size of the sign as well as its position. We don't need to track rotation in this example. I'm increasing the search size to above 60 because there's a lot of movement at one point as I move closer to the sign. Check to make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the Auto Tracker clip in the timeline and then click Track Forward. The tracking box should snap back to the target object with each frame. If it starts to stray away from the target object, your video will not track correctly. In this case, click Stop Track, then Clear Track Data. Try adjusting the search size and restart the tracking sequence. When the tracking is all done, turn off snapping and move the playhead through the timeline and make sure all the tracking points are centered on the tracked object. Everything looks good, so I'm going to turn off the tracking data. And when turned off, it's still there, but just not displayed on the screen. Under Drop Zone Controls, increase overall scale. Make the Drop Zone box big enough to cover the area where the text will go. Now I'm going to select the type of text I want to insert. In this example, I want a static text with no animation. So I'll choose Custom 3D and drag it down to the timeline. Increase the font size to maximum because when you apply the text to the clip, it will get scaled down as you will see later. Next, choose the font that you want and make other adjustments. It's also important to adjust the angle of the text now so that the perspective looks right for the angle you will be looking at it. In this example, I will align the base of the text with the edge of the road where it will be inserted. Make all required adjustments to the text and then highlight the Auto Tracker tool and click on the down arrow box to select the source clip. Go over to your text clip in the timeline and select it near the beginning and then click the Apply Clip button. You will notice a miniature version of the text is now displayed behind your text sample. Now delete or disable your text sample. So I'm just going to delete it, highlight, backspace. This is the text that will now track to the sign. Now you will see as you scrub through that the text accurately tracks to the sign and appears to stay fixed in one position relative to the scenery. Adjust the anchor points to move the text to the right position. I'm going to move it down so that it looks like it's setting on the ground.
I'm applying a cross dissolve to smooth out the in and out transition. Turn off perspective guide and here's what it looks like. I use cross dissolve, but a better way to present this stationary 3D text might be to put a different clip before and after rather than have it fade in and out. So here's what that would look like. 